Hey, 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 hey. So, um, a bit of another impromptu video, video, video. Um, a couple of weeks ago, Spuzno and the Forge Circuit uh, had a little bit of a travel to a, a toy fair of some kind and picked up some figures. One of those figures amongst it was a character, Fluffy. From the Bionic 6. And that kind of um, had one of those random twinges of nostalgia for all the Bionic 6. Because I'm one of the few people who remembers Bionic 6. It's one of those forgotten kind of cartoons. I never had any of the figures as a child. But it was um, it's quite a fun, quirky um, TV series about a family all with bionic powers. So it's roughly based on the six million dollar man and the six million dollar woman. But a, a family, the bionic six, brought together by chance, given superpowers by the miracle of science, I believe is one of the things, and a cracking theme tune. Bionic, bionic six, ooh, ooh. Something like, you fight for me, I fight for you. We are a family. So it didn't go into we are family. <laughs> I'll go all my brothers and sisters with me. So a scene on the eBay's an auction for some Bionic Six figures. Um four Bionic Six figures in fact. So these are what I've uh, purchased because you know it's quite just an interesting line. So we'll start off with got this lady here this is Helen oh my god uh, names escaping me of the surname of them all <laughs> but um yeah this is Helen she's the mother she was called mother one we didn't know her. there wasn't a mother, mother two they all had like names like this and um, Eric who's the uh the oldest sibling sports one and Meg not Meg Ryan. Uh, she is um, rock one or music one. I can't remember which one. She's uh... and we've got the leader of the bad guys here, Doctor Scarab. So yeah, they're quite an interesting toy line. So as you can see, the got um, a quarrel here. So they are roughly the same size as. The G.I. Joe type figure. So they're in that uh, fig figure line. But there's a lot of die cast. Mostly die cast. Um, so we take Meg, for instance, with a pixie haircut. We've got die cast feet up to the shins. Then we've got translucent plastic for the legs. Then the body is uh, die cast again. Plastic head, plastic arms so we've got like a very kind of rough one two race waist swivel leg articulation knee articulation so you know very basic kind of 80s articulation but you know cool novel nevertheless and it's just that die cast just gives it that extra edge. So, you know, if you like both die cast and translucent plastic, you're in for a treat. I don't know if you can make this out, but inside the uh, die cast parts, there's actually like a bit of metal or something that's in some kind of cog shaped. So when you move her, the, the thing inside that leg, inside the hollow, uh, leg of the uh, translucent leg actually moves so there's actually you know it gives it that bionic feel so that's kind of cool I like how they've uh, gone for that so yeah so really th these are both pr pretty much uh, very not the same mold at all but um the distribution between metal for the chest and pants translucent translucent plastic for the legs Metal for the bottom legs and plastic for the arms and head. So yeah, this is uh, obviously mother and daughter. Roughly the uh, Bennett. Helen Bennett, Meg Bennett. 
Eric Bennett, Dr. Scarab. Uh, he's a certified doctor. <laughs> so yeah, th th these two are pretty much, they've got the same distribution of where the die cast and the uh, plastic is. Whereas Eric, is all of his legs are die cast, his pants are die cast, his chest is die cast, plastic head, then he's got those translucent uh, arms. Again, there's there's something in there, so when they move, you won't be, you might not be able to pick this up on camera, or when they move, um, there's something, a little bit moves, it's like a, some kind of ball bearing or something in there, that'll just move, so you just catch the little bit of, a bit of metal moving in there. And the bottom of his, so from the elbow down, is just regular plastic. Just as his noggin is, the helmet doesn't come off. Dr. Scarab, however, this is the leader of the bad guys. Uh, he's a big chunky chap like me. Um, bald, like me. Uh, got one eye, not like me. And he's got this doctor's thing on his head. And rocking, you know, it's so intimidating. It is red lippy. Um, so his legs die cast, pants die cast, chest is die cast, plastic head. These, yeah, I think even the top of his arms are die cast as well. So it's just these bottom from the elbow down and his head that's plastic, everything else on him. He's die cast and he's got his bad guy chip in his chest. Should be on the shoulder, really. Um, but it's in translucent. I don't think there's anything that's really going on special in there when it moves. But um, still, nonetheless, uh, yeah. So that's really these Bionic six figures. Uh, there's, they're relatively cheap to pick up on the old Ebays. But I've never really seen many of them with actually any full sets of accessories. This lot didn't come with any accessories at all. Um, you can buy them. I think I've seen some carded um, with obviously all the stuff. That's uh, not too cheap. But just getting them like this, uh, especially because they just, they're all, it's very hard to see any that aren't dinged up a bit. Um, because, you know, obviously the die cast scratches over time, which probably has a, uh, you know, um, whereas your more G.I. Joe stuff is uh, plastic, so it won't get as dinged up when they've just been thrown in toy boxes and stuff. So, yeah, you'll probably find these will be dinged up. But I'm sure with a bit of TLC, you could be able to sort them out. So, I mean, I've got four of the figures so far. I think there was only... 13 in the actual line so you know it should be if i wanted to go completionist like okay, you know it'd be quite cool there's some weird fun looking bad guys most of whom are voiced by frank welker that i could uh, get hold of this guy isn't but there's like there's, there's about three of the bad guys were voiced by frank welker um because you know he's that hard working so yeah really fun pick up it's um one of those forgotten toy lines slash cartoons of the era, the 80s. I believe it's the 80s, maybe even early 90s. But um, it's one that uh, I believe the toy I can't even remember what toy company made these. Let's see. Um, wow. 1985, 1986. Um, I can't read. Something Toys Limited. <laughs> that narrows it down a bit. Um, Definitely won't be able to read that one. LJN Toys Limited. Um, I believe the company themselves, while well, they made this toy line, they were trying to hit it out with the cartoon, you know, toy line and cartoon kind of thing in conjunction with each other as things were done in the 80s. But they also were a company that made um, toy guns, but realistic toy guns, and they... Uh, had quite a few lawsuits against them and because it was at a time when that type of stuff was getting cracked down on and there was crimes and shootings and accidental shootings of people with toy guns and stuff 
but um, they actually had quite a lot of um, they they were found responsible for you know the how realistic some of their weapons were and uh, had to pay uh, significant financial repercussions of that and so it ended up with other things in the repertoire also went with them so you know it's a bit of a tragic end to a, a toy line that's about the family unit and the um greater family unit because they have uh, adopted children as well um who do karate and things like that <laughs> well that's the bionic six honestly if, it's, if you've never seen the cartoon you've never seen the intro just have a google around and just see the intro and stuff like that it's actually it's quite a fun um cartoon and, and, and some really good animation i remember it was quite you know cool animation for his time bionic six ladies and gentlemen uh, as always, uh, thanks for coming over. Um, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And because you deserve it, let's uh, fist bump, shall we? I'm holding the camera as well. Uh, fisto! Fisto!